I was diagnosed with multiple sclerosis in October of 1994. With multiple sclerosis, they haven't figured it out what causes it, but it's an autoimmune disease, auto meaning self. So what happens is your self attacks your immune system. They don't know why. I'd have tingliness in my left hand one minute. My vision might be affected another, although that's been good lately, thank God. You know, and then my legs are hurting, which is at this point in time my biggest thing is is pain and burning. I am on a lot of meds. Currently, I take the, not only the shot, the interferon, which is every other day, and I've been doing that for 11 years. I take Imuran in the morning. I take Baclofen and Neurontin both four times a day each. And I take Wellbutrin, which is an antidepressant. I take that twice a day. And uh, Detrol and Ditropan, which are urinary medications. Because I do address every symptom with my neurologist, we, we treat every symptom with pharmaceutical, and yet you don't get total relief. You know, they do work. I'm not disputing that they work. But does it work fully? No. My son learned a lot about medicinal marijuana. And so he gathered some information and he came to me and said, gee, Ma, you know, have you ever thought of this? I was willing to try it, give it a chance, but I didn't want to break the law. I didn't want to have to feel like a criminal, like, oh, I'm sneaking, and God forbid I get caught. Now it's legal in Rhode Island. Rhonda O'Donnell, who suffers from multiple sclerosis, became one of the first people to turn in her application to register for Rhode Island's medical marijuana program, a program that was established after the General Assembly made it legal for certified patients to use the popular drug for medicinal purposes. This is where people get the lines crossed sometimes. It's not legalizing marijuana for everybody at all, just for medical purposes with the doctor's recommendation. Okay. okay. So tell me what you're feeling right now. Mm. Wow. It doesn't take long. <laughs> no. Tell me what you're feeling. Okay, well, first of all, it was irritating here because I'm not a smoker, but what I'm feeling physically, it's weird. Um, not bad. My legs just feel a little, I don't want to say looser, perhaps. I, that's why I just said it doesn't take long. I mean, I don't know. I don't know it, how this works. Um, I, it almost feels like now a lot of times I have stiffness and burning pain in my legs and feet and it, it just feel I can't even say I still feel like a, a warmth but it's not the burning pain I call it burning pain that I normally feel it's like a, a warmth it, it's not irritating it's almost soothing I Go, guess going through your legs yep under here and down to here it just feels almost like a coolness compared to the burning pain. It's, you know, is this a new? God. Is this a new sensation? Yeah. You uh, never felt this and before? I, I never did. But, and it's, and been I how feel, long, it's been how long since you just smoked the marijuana? Oh, gosh. A minute? <laughs> um, yeah. Two minutes? Two minutes. It works fast. <laughs> I don't know how long it lasts. But... Uh, it's it's finally come to the fruition, you know, the end of the road here, that I can actually do this legally in my own home, in the state of Rhode Island, um, barring the feds coming, bar knocking down the door, um, I'm legal.